from Artisan Savon. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got a whole heap of fresh um, local beeswax that I obviously need to clean up. So I'm just going to do a little video of my of what I do to clean it up. It's not going to be like a tutorial or a demonstration. It's just going to be a few quick short videos probably with no sound of my process. So first off, I am going to take a big sharp knife. I've already started, and I'm going to clean off all these oops, debris, you know, dead bees, bits of crap that's all strewn throughout the um, the wax, bits of honey and hive, and I'm not sure if the camera's going to show you this, but sorry about the noisy to, uh, child in the background. You can hold it back a bit. You can see still there's the cells. From the bees so we're gonna go through and take all this off and I'm actually gonna keep this and I'll explain later what I'm going to do with this so it's gonna go quiet now put a bit of music to the background and it's just gonna be a short video of me chopping all this stuff off here so this is sign of you so this is all the lo lovely um, fresh wax but now I've got to clean it so here goes <laughs> Okay, so we've done the first heat and we have been left with, like you've seen it at the start, and then what we've got after the first lot is, so this, it's a nice, oh, it doesn't want to focus, no, it doesn't want to, but anyway, you've seen the bottom of this wax before we started, and now you can see it's much, much cleaner, still needs to have another heat through to get rid of all the debris. Here's all the debris that came off that after the first sort of meltdown and separation stage. And I will bring you back after the next one. Alright, so as you can see we have a big pot of, this is the second run through. So we've got some warm water in here with all of our wax. And we're just going to bring it back to temperature so that it's all melted. And all the wax will come to the top and hopefully majority of the debris that's still in here so like these oops, these little bits they will all sort of fall to the bottom and we'll scrape off the bottom of the wax when it's done so we're going to bring this to temperature melt it all let it cool right down until it's solid again and then scrape the bottom and then do it a third run through bring you back then Okay, so we have done the second boil down. As you can see, everything's all melted. Nothing's solidifying yet. I'm going to leave this to sit here and cool all the way down until we get a nice thick wax block on the top. Um, I Once it's solidified, I'm going to check it. And if it's still really mucky underneath, I'll put it through one more time. This is still the second time, so I'll put it through one more time. Um, and if it's looking like... It doesn't need it then I'm not gonna worry about it too much I'll just scrape off what I can and then leave it as is and I will show you the finished product hi all so we did another remelt and after the cleanup last night and so this was the third clean um, so I've let this sort of sit overnight the water is actually still warm I turned this off at about 10:30 last night to sort of let all the wax float to the top 
and solidify it in one big slab. I'm going to try and attempt to take this out one handed. I don't know how this is going to go, but you're going to see exactly what it looks like on the bottom and what I mean when I say we've got to clean a bit off. So this is after the third one. This is the bottom and there's the wax. So really what we started with, which was half and half either wax and then that, you know, dead bugs and whatever else, dust and dirt and all just debris that you get in dirty wax when you take it out of the hive. This is all we're left with. One tiny little layer. Let me get a... That we're just going to have to scrape off. And then I probably won't do it again. I probably won't clean it again because I reckon that's pretty good. I think I'm going to take a nice, probably half a centimetre off the bottom. And that half a centimetre is going to... See how clear our water is? It's nice now. So I'm done. I'd probably say that's about maybe two kilos of wax there. Now this is a pretty big pot. This is a 15 litre pot. So, and that's a good two inch thick. So I'm going to say that's probably about one and a half to two kilos of wax. So this, anyway... All this is everything that came off all that dirty wax. It looks terrible. It's like the bottom wax scrapings, the first stuff we took out in that first little video. Now this is actually going to be reused for, not cosmetic products, but for to make fire lighters. So what I'm going to do is, this is all going to be, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> pardon me. This is going to be sort of heated up, so it's like a, a, um, a slurry, I guess. And it's good because you know you get chunks of wax through it, and it's going to have more chunks of wax and wax shavings through it. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to add some sawdust in again. Sorry, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Add some sawdust in, and then we're going to make like um, I've got like a couple of ice cube trays. I'm going to put some calico in those, um, in like little strips. I haven't got any to show you, but little strips. And then line the ice cube trays with that and put this mixture inside. And then I'll have fire lighters for winter, which we're coming into now. So that's my plan. That's how I clean my wax. And I think that's pretty much it. So if you like this, oh, big splash. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And of course, subscribe. Bye.